Now, a few weeks ago, Audio Technica reached out to see if we wanted to review their latest audio gaming headset, and we said yes. This is EBP Man Tech Reviews, and today we're going to take a look at Audio Technica's ATH G1 WL. Let's check it out. Now it's been a while since we reviewed a gaming headset on the channel, so we're really excited when Audio Technica asked if we would consider doing an unbiased review of their product. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at the ATH G1 WL, which is their new gaming headset that retails around $250, and we're going to check out the audio quality. We're going to check out the gaming call quality. So when you're gaming and you're speaking to your fellow gamers, how does it actually sound? We're also going to talk about surround sound capabilities, and we're going to see why you may want to consider this for either your next Mac or PC gaming headset. Let's get right to it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. Now inside the box you're gonna find your headphones, a micro USB charging cable, an extra pair of ear pads, a transceiver, uh, USB-A, as well as a mic. Now connecting the headphones to your PC or Mac is pretty simple. Uh, it is not a Bluetooth connected device, but it does require this transceiver. So this transceiver will go into your USB-A port and allow you to connect to it using 2.4 as the wireless frequency. Now one of the things that you may immediately recognize is that, hey, why isn't this USB-C? And what will you do if you have, let's say, a MacBook Pro or another USB-C device and you don't have USB-A? So I just wanted to show you that in my testing, I was able to use this dongle, this converter, uh, where I was able to plug this in just like this and convert from USB-A to USB-C. So I've tested this um, on a Mac and a PC using this converter. So if you're concerned about the connectivity and not having a USB-A port available, uh, don't worry because you can use USB-C. Now before taking a closer look at the headphones themselves, let's check out the specs on Audio-Technica's website. So the first thing we'll take a look at is the drivers. The drivers are 45 millimeter drivers. You're also going to see a battery life of 15 hours and a charge time of 7 hours. As we look at the transceiver itself, again it's operating in the frequency band of 2.4 gigahertz as we mentioned, and then also it has a range of up to 39 feet. So that's pretty decent, so that means you'll be able to roam around 39 feet and still maintain a connection. Now I've been able to get around 33 feet uh, as I've been using these, but you know, when I think about my situation is that I do have some brick walls that the, uh, that the actual headphones have to go through in order to connect to my standard desktop or my Mac. But in an open area, the 39 feet was not a problem. Now, as we take a closer look at the headphones themselves, they do have a really flexible headband, and the headband does not really provide any kind of vice-type feeling on your head. Now, they do kind of have a retro look, so you notice that you do have a combination of materials. You have memory foam here at the top, you have this metal band, but the metal band is really flexible. You can see how flexible that is. It does have exposed wiring, and I've seen a lot of this kind of retro look with the exposed wiring on the outside. I don't know how durable that's going to be over time, but they do look pretty cool. Now, the other the other thing that you do have is, is adjustments on each side, and they're very, very flexible when it comes to adjusting. It's not really hard to adjust, but at the same time, once you adjust it into the setting that you want, it stays in place. Um, as you look at the earpieces themselves, and you'll notice that they do twist outward, which is really nice, the earpieces themselves have this nice memory foam, and as I was wearing these, I didn't feel kind of overheating whatsoever. They also do a really good job of noise isolation. So the overall uh, craftsmanship when it comes to how you wear and overheating heating is, is really, really good on these. Now, you do have some flexibility here as far as um, you know the pivots that you see here. And what I'll do is I'll put these on really quick just to give you a sense of what they look like. So let's go ahead and put it on. And this is what they're going to look like. So I'll turn to the right. I'll turn to the left. Okay. And only one side will light up. So you'll see this when we power it up. Only one side will have a, a little LED indicator, as you can see it here. And when you go on this side, you'll notice that there's nothing here. So there are no physical buttons, no uh, tactile buttons either uh, on these pieces. But you'll notice that this is where you'll see the LED sign turn on. Now, there are some controls here, and we'll go over uh, some of the ones that you have here. So what you have here is your on button, on and off. You also have a multifunction button. So this is pretty interesting because uh, typically you see rockers here, but this is actually a dial button that you dial up and down. So this button serves both as your volume control and then when you tap it, your surround sound. So you're gonna be able to adjust your surround sound and then go into normal mode. So surround sound on and off just by pressing in 
or uh, adjustment of your volume as you're going up and down. Here's your, uh, again, micro USB uh, charging port that's right there. And that's probably one of the areas that I'm a little disappointed, especially now since these are newer headphones, why wouldn't they support uh, USB-C since everyone else is supporting it? So I wish they had supported that. Uh, you also have, again, your ability right here to monitor. Uh, this is where your headphone, uh, where, where actually your mic would get connected. Uh, the other thing about this is that uh, the mic is always gonna be on this side. So I wish that I could flip this over, but it doesn't seem that I can. I tried uh, doing like one of these things to see if I could put it on the other side, and you'll notice right here that it will not work. So if it was only, if it was both sided, I would really like that because I'd like to be able to switch wherever I would have the mic. Now the boom arm here as well as the uh, the wind, uh, I would say uh, area here that's going to you know prevent any um, over breathing on the mic works really well. In a couple seconds, we're going to change to the audio so that you can hear how it sounds and how much is picked up by the mic. Now, um, at the end here, you do have your uh, on and off switch, and that's pretty much um, how the setting works. So now with this mic on, let me show you what it looks like. So again, what I normally recommend when you're wearing a mic like this is that you have at least two to three fingers away from your lips, right? So if you're gonna have it right here, I would do something like this, and that's as far as I would go. If you've ever been on with someone and you hear them breathing very hardly, or you hear just a lot of raspiness, it's because they have this like right here. You don't wanna do that. So what I would recommend is two to three fingers from your face, put it right here, and then that's gonna be solid. Now, once again, you cannot switch it from one side to the other, but this is what it would look like with the mic on. Okay, and remember, it only has one discrete LED on one side. So next, let's talk about audio quality. Now, from an audio quality perspective, these do really well. Uh, definitely, you can see that these headphones are created by Audio-Technica. You definitely see that sound signature presence. So if you're listening to music, you're gonna get bass, mids, and highs, and you do get a very, uh, I would say, deep, rumbly bass. The sound signature is pretty decent. If you think about also the stage itself, the sound stage, it's pretty broad as well. But you'd expect this because this for gaming, and especially for surround sound, you need to be able to have that surround sound or that really broad sound stage. So in the gaming mode, you know, beyond music, so again, the music, you're gonna get the bass, mids, and highs. Um, it does a really nice job that the bass does not overwhelm the mids and the highs. Your highs are still clear, your mids are still great, and your bass is definitely present. And as it comes in, it doesn't overwhelm them. Does it compare to some of the audiophile or let's say some of the uh, headphones or earbuds that we reviewed on the channel? I'd say because this is kind of like an all around headphone, it probably does really well when it comes to audio, but I'm not gonna give it a five star audio review as we've seen maybe like with the Sennheisers. Uh, that being said, as a gaming headset, does really well, especially for this price point, bass, mids, and highs are present. Now the next thing we'll talk about here is the actual gaming experience. From a gaming experience, it's immersive, uh, especially given the, the uh, passive noise isolation that takes place when you put these on, the fact that it immerses you in the game, and then also the surround sound does a really nice job of reproducing things. So you hear the sound steps on the right, you see the, hear the steps on the left, um, as you're using any kind of gameplay, as you see in some of these shots where you actually see the actual cartridges flipping out of the weapon, you're actually seeing them, uh, you actually hear them as they're clinking, and it's pretty cool the way that experience is. And then as you upgrade to more light type weapons, once again, uh, you get that uh, additional feedback and experience associated with what you're doing. So walking, running, uh, splashing in water, all those effects come to life with these headphones and it does a really nice job of reproducing them. So regardless of the type of gameplay that you're in, if you're watching, using these as a first person or if you're using this in another type of game uh, or you're just listening to music, uh, these do a really well job when it comes to YouTube also maintaining synchronization, even despite the fact that with this transceiver that we have here, uh, and connecting it via the uh, USB-C, I didn't see any out of sync issues when it came to the vocals and what I saw on screen. And this was even pushing through a lot of audio. So normal gameplay, playing a game, seeing the game on the screen, and as you can see here, multiple monitors where I had Netflix running or I could have, let's say, Skype running uh, or any kind of other communication, I didn't really feel any latency. I didn't lose myself where I was seeing the gameplay be falling behind and then the audio from one of my other streams uh, like Discord uh, falling behind. So very immersive, great audio quality, uh, great game experience, and then also the surround sound experience is great. Now the other thing that we'll talk about is the, the audio. How loud do they get? And I wanna say that they get loud enough. They don't get overpowering where you can't support them in the loudest setting, because I've had headphones that you just 
crank them up and they're just, you just can't use them because they're so loud. These did a really good job. They weren't too light and they weren't too loud. And I enjoyed just using them either for gameplay or movie watching. Now this first test is going to be an ambient noise sound test. And as you can see here, I'm going to just stay quiet for a second so you can see what my sound meter is telling me. So around 14 decibels. What we're going to do is we're going to switch to the headphones. Now this is what the sound quality would sound like when you are gaming and having a conversation with someone in a quiet environment. The next test we're going to go through is going to be a noisy environment sound test just to see what the person on the other side would hear. Let's say for example you're in a Starbucks or let's say you're in a public area where there's a lot of noise but there's public internet and you're gaming on your laptop. Let's try it. Now this next test is going to include testing the Audio-Technica headphones in a noisy environment. So as you can hear around us, we're simulating a noisy environment. If you look at the decibel levels, they're quite higher. I'm going to stay quiet so that you can see them. All right, so you're looking at anywhere from 57 to 61 decibels. We're going to switch to the headphones just now. Now this is what the sound would sound like in a gameplay mode if you're speaking over these headphones in a noisy environment. Again, this could be in a coffee shop, this could be in any area where there's more noise than being in a quiet room. Let me know what you think about the sound quality of these headphones in gameplay mode in a noisy environment. This is a test, one, two, three, this is a test. Let me know what you think about the audio quality coming from this mic in the comment area below. So guys, that wraps up this review of Audio-Technica's ATH-G1WL wireless gaming headphone. Let me know what you thought about the headphone, about the audio quality. Also, let me know about what you think about that transmitter and the fact that you can still use it with a USB-C device. Love to hear from you in the comment area below.